Good evening, folks. The Scientific Visualization Studio does it again. You'll find a link to their latest animation and explanations in the citations. Excellent visualizations to accompany a good article on accretion disks of binary systems. If the accretion disk is misaligned with the binary orbital plane, perturbations can occur. And by perturbations, okay, I mean serious perturbations. That was just a taste. This one could steal some of your time if you're not careful. You may have heard that the space fence is going down. Full story is that they are quite bullish on the replacement. Transition timing is not yet certain. Shot of the day comes from NASA's Earth Observatory. Lightning-induced wildfires in Idaho. We have July's State of the Climate report. Uncommon is becoming common in these reports. Always a top recommendation. Buoy in event mode off Sumatra. Deviation is minimal. After taking six lives in the Philippines and sinking a 190-meter cargo ship in Hong Kong, a tour is now moving west. Updates will continue. National Hurricane Center showing two developing systems, one coming off of Africa, the other in the Caribbean, heading north. Flaring still not matching that M range, but sea flares continue from the developed Earth-facing groups. Much complexity is fading, though. Low-level umbral fields show the limited geo-effectiveness of this major coronal hole. The larger opening is ending. You can see the next one in green. It's on the left side, turning in right behind this one. After two weeks without a six-pointer or quake score above seven, our current watch has seen four. The current score continues to be around seven or eight. And lastly, there she goes. I'll leave the CME tracking to our evening experts and catch up in the morning. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.